In 1727, the 16 years old Qianlong was married with the 15 years old Xiao Xian as his wife. When their wedding ceremony finished, Qianlong was officially married. Actually, before marriage, Qianlong already had eight or nine concubines. The imperial noble consort Zhemin was one of those concubines. According to Qing Dynasty rules, she was called a Ge Ge. The imperial noble consort Zhemin was Fu Cha Shi, but she didn't come from the Emperor Xiao Xian's branch. Zhemin was from a plain yellow banner Bao Yi family. In 1725, Zhemin joined the imperial election event for maids. The Emperor Yongzheng elected her as Qianlong's Ge Ge when Qianlong was 15 years old. Now we don't know Zhemin's birthday, but considering girls usually join the election event between 13 to 16, it's highly possible. That Zhemin was little older than Qianlong. In Qing Dynasty, before officially got married, prince should sleep with one woman to practice for his first night with his wife. It's possible that Zhemin was Qianlong's first woman, because Zhemin gave birth Qianlong's first kid. In July fifth, seventeen twenty-eight, Qianlong was married with Xiao Xian in September third, seventeen twenty-seven. In seventeen thirty-one, Zhemin gave birth to Qianlong's second daughter, but this little princess only lived eight months. There are didn't many records about Zhemin's personality, but Qianlong definitely loved her. Zhemin passed away two months before Qianlong inherited the throne for a known reason. When Qianlong became the emperor, he immediately posthumously promoted her to the consort Zhe, and ordered people to worship her. The consort Zhe, in Manchuria language, means smart. Qianlong had several Ge Ge passed away before he became the emperor, but Qianlong only posthumously promoted Zhe Min. In 1745, Qianlong promoted the consort Zhe to the imperial noble consort Zhe, using the reason. That she gave birth to Qianlong's first son. In 1752, Qianlong's tube, Yuling, finished. The Emperor Xiao Xian, the Imperial Noble Consort Hui Xian, and Zhe Min were buried in there on the same day. Qianlong wanted Zhe Min to be buried with him, which was not a sudden idea. Because after Zhemin passed away, Qianlong didn't bury her. Her body was kept in a special palace to wait for Yuling's finish. This indirectly proved that Qianlong did love her. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.